Um, let me switch gears on the immigration issue. Uh, two different measures that are going to be taken up next week, sir. Yours, and then I guess a more moderate approach to this, but that something will be done and voted on next week. Are you confident that some measure, one of those two, yours or this other alternative plan, will pass muster before the, the midterm election? Well, it's very important that one of them pass because we have a serious problem at our border and it's not being solved. And you can see it even with a president of the United States who is dedicated uh, to securing the border and enforcing our immigration laws and who's called upon the Congress to do something uh, fair and sensible for uh, the so-called DACA recipients. Uh, it is very important that we pass one. I obviously like uh, the bill that I've introduced along with Mike McCall and uh, Martha McSally and Raul Labrador, chairman of the committees and subcommittees of jurisdiction of the issue. But we've also worked very collaboratively uh, with the leadership uh, and with people who supported this charge petition and people who do not support it uh, all across the spectrum. And we have reached a consensus bill, uh, which we provide in text language and we're now circulating amongst the members. It's very important that one of those two bills pass. It's my preference that we get to 218 votes. And right, I'll now, be supporting both, both, both of measures them. measures include at least $25 billion of fan financing a wall. Is it your belief that whatever happens, that wall is going to be built? Uh, well, first of all, one of the attractive things in the second bill that's not in the, the, the bill that I introduced along with Mr. McCall is a trigger mechanism which says that we're, we're going to provide opportunities uh, earned opportunities, not a special pathway to citizenship, but earned opportunities for people uh, who were brought here as children uh, illegally by their parents, but that that cannot go forward if the scheduled funding for the wall over the next five years, and it's not just a wall, by the way, it's lots of border security provisions as well. Uh, if that doesn't go forward, a trigger would put a halt until the money did come forward to the other progressive. But you have that's enough a, that's a really good votes for that feature, whether people like that or not. I, I, I can't imagine many Democrats voting for a wall. Well, I think that this is going to have to be done by primarily uh, Republican members of the House, unfortunately, because right. the Democrats have decided to politicize the issue rather than get serious about addressing the president's four well, pillars. Let me ask you about that, because the president again said today that separating uh, parents and kids who come into this country, that's been the policy for a long, long time. And this was actually part of a democratic law. Do you accept that? Is he right about that? Well, the law has existed for quite some time uh, that uh, the administration is attempting to adhere to. I think it was uh, adhered to by the Obama administration in a different way. Right. They said we can't keep the children beyond a certain amount of time, and therefore we're going to let them and their parents go into the interior of our country, and they can come back for a hearing later on. Guess what? A lot of them never come back. The president said that message goes back to the countries where people are coming from, and then they do not uh, uh, have any disincentive to come here. So you've got to enforce the law. And the law says the parents, if they're charged with a misdemeanor, need to be held, uh, but they can't have the children with them. I think we can fix that so the children uh, can be kept in a, a humane uh, way with their parents uh, in these circumstances. And we're working hard uh, to make sure that that is accomplished in this legislation that we're offering. Chairman, good luck. Very good seeing you again, sir. Thank you very, very much. Thanks, Neil.